The Republic of Eden is a vast and diverse country located in South Asia. New Delhi is the capital city of Eden. It is the seventh largest country by land area and the second most populous country in the world with a population of 1.4 billion. As of Sunday, June 11, 2023, based on World Meter Facts. Eden is known for its rich cultural heritage, ancient traditions, and vibrant diversity. Eden has 28 states and 8 union territories. Each state has its own unique culture, language, and traditions contributing to the country's multicultural tapestry. Their official language is Hindi and English, though there exist regional languages. When it comes to tribes in India, the country is home to a diverse army of indigenous communities. There are over 500 tribes with many overlapping countries in more than one state in the country of India. Though the most common known tribes of Indians are Gons, Bees, or you call it Bees, Santa, Muda, Kasi, Garu, Angami, Butsia, Shenshu, Udaba, the great Adamanese tribes, Udu, Sentilis, Langas, Oranu, Jawara, and Wali tribe, among others. Today, let's focus on Wali or Valley tribe. The Wali tribe primarily resides in the mountainous and coastal regions of Maharashtra and Gujarat. They are famous for their intricate tribal art paintings, depicting scenes from daily life and nature. Welcome to Kimura 17 TV, the home of documentaries. I am OK on Morgan, the moralist, born and bred in Ibotaku, Oja Gile. Please do well to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this video that is going to go viral. Many thanks to those that have done that, and I want to tell you guys that you are my real people. Thank you very much. On Wali tribe, for their location, the Wali tribe primarily resides in mountainous and coastal region of Maharashtra and Gujarat in western India. They are concentrated in Tim, Paga, Nasik and Dule district of Maharashtra. The Wali speak Valley language classified as Marathi with some degree of influence from Bili. On their population, the exact population of the Wali tribe is difficult to determine due to various factors. However, they are estimated to have significant population with communities spread across multiple villages in their traditional regions. On their history, history of the Wali tribe dates back centuries and they have a rich cultural heritage. The word Wali is derived from Wala, meaning piece of land or field. The Wali tribe is one of the largest in India, located outside Mumbai. Till the 1970s, even though the tribal style of heart is thought to date back as early as 10th century AD, the Wali culture is centered on the concept of modern nature and elements of nature are often focal points depicted in worldly painting. On their cultural practices, the Wali tribe has a distinct cultural identity. They are known for their traditional 
art form called wali painting they are known for their traditional art called wali painting wali painting and techniques wali painting is a traditional art form known for its simple and captivating style characterized by geometric patterns and stick figures here are some key aspects of the wali painting of all this one whatever painting they are do they do have to have a subject matter they are the depict scenes from daily life and nature common subject include village village life farming farming activities festival and religious rituals animals trees and bears are not as well left out in their paintings they have a geometric patterns of painting they use simple geometric shapes such as circles triangles and squares the painting have repetitive patterns conveying a sense of harmony and balance white or brown traditionally wali paintings were created using a limited color palette the background is a brownish wood resulting from the mixture of rice paste and water the figures and patterns were the paint were paint were the painted in white or white pigment they also use brushes and tools while the paintings are created using simple tools and materials brushes made of bamboo sticks are used to apply the paint another aspect of their painting do not forget i've made mention of subject matter i made mention of geometrical patterns i made mention they make white on brown or black uh, background then i made mention of brushes and tools then another part of their painting that they represent is the ritualistic techniques while the painting is deeply connected to the cultural and religious practices of the tribe the paintings if presented during special occasion may serve as decorative elements or be used as a medium to convey social messages and tribal beliefs they also create morals that is large painting for storytelling passing down knowledge from one generation to another on wali tribe we continue Wali plenty is simplicity and charm of this art form continue to captivate people and showcase the rich cultural heritage of the Wali community. On their cultural belief, the Wali have their cultural belief that are deeply intertwined with their way of life. Some of these include anim animism. Don't forget I told you that in their, in their part of shape of painting uh, one of their subject matter is animals, birds and some other things, animals precisely. So they also believe in uh, seeking blessings and guidance from uh, ancestral, you know, from what they call animal. They believe that the animals are a form of, uh, a form of worship and they are meant to be worshipped. Then also, they also believe in ancestors and spirits, just like every other tribe could do, you know. You have an ancestor that have transcend to the grave, and you still have to consult their life. This one is another part of what this tribe is, uh, is having. Then we have their rituals and ceremonies. They practice rituals and ceremonies every other thing and even on this ritual ceremony their paintings are even displayed to explain some cultural some cultural explanations passing down what is necessary from one generation to another precisely then they also there are some sacred places that they don't allow them to visit that they have the sacred groups which are the caves don't forget they say they reside primarily at times on, around mountainous area and also some valleys 
Their burial ground is another place that they don't have to visit. As, as well as the community shrine, there are sacred spaces that you are not allowed to step on. They also have their taboos and superstitions. This one is just to prevent their culture from getting out. On their building, the Wali tribe construct their traditional dwellings using locally available and natural materials. Aspects of their building include architecture, the materials they use, the thatch roofs, then the special organization of their houses. Then they have a kind of communal living that is the village clustered together. They don't have, and also, their building is also eco friendly. They don't, they don't have a scattered uh, land, you know, scattered buildings rather. They have all the buildings in one place. On what they eat and the, the occupation. On the occupation, the, the agriculture, handcrafts, you know, that handcraft is for both men and women, then animal husbandry, fishing, and the gathering as well. Then on their food. Uh, they eat both their vegetarians and they are still non vegetarians as well. They eat good food. On the roles and responsibilities of men and women, boys and girls, differ based on their traditional cultural practices. For their men, their men, you know, they monitor their agricultural livestock, fishing and hunting, their construction and maintenance of their building, that is majorly the role of the man. While their women, Household duties, child care, education, then handcraft and heart. The drawers you see on the wall, mostly drawn by women. Then we have men as well that are also skilled. But ordinarily, if you are from Wali, I think that one is a natural gift that resided, as resided the youth. Then, of course, what do you expect their boys to do? For their guest household. Well, again, their girls make use of household chores that they learn from their women, though it also varies from one community to another. Do not forget that it is the captivating aspect of worldly painting that is the most captivating aspect of their life. The paintings, and this painting I tell you, is capable of telling stories, capable of explaining some event, is capable of welcoming you. Is capable of reading or bringing things together as the case may be. A whole lot of things. Then they are painting also, bring them, bring nature and to adapt it. Just like you can see a man sitting down under the tree, drawing the man sitting under the tree, tell you that they are eco friendly. You don't cut down trees like that. And they maintain this kind of good and cool relationship with the environment. And their goal of artwork is each painting should carry a meaning. For everything you do in life, let there be goal. And once there is a goal, you know where you are going. So the goal, one of the major goals what they do is what they are painting carry meaning. They don't just paint. Horizon on Wally Tribe of Indian. Let's stop here. We can't go beyond there. Thank you very much for watching this all through. I want to appreciate you. Please keep liking, keep subscribing as I'll continue to bring you cultural of, of people all around the world. And I will stop doing that because that is what I love doing ordinarily. Thank you very much. My name is O.K. Omoge, the moralist. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Bye for now.